All right, so this one we're gonna do, we're gonna replace the spark plugs, we're gonna replace the valve cover gaskets. We're gonna start with removing the fuel air box, 10 millimeter, eight millimeter. Remove this, close from here, and all the way up. If you have a tool set, get them. If no, all you need is eight millimeter for all covered studs, 10 millimeter for the coils. I remove everything. So now we have that. We're gonna unplug the coils, push top in. And we're gonna pull it up. So in and out. See how they're pushing here, pushing and up. So we're gonna. Disconnect all the coils, driver's side or passenger side, and we're gonna remove the coils. To remove the coils, you get a 10 millimeter socket. They're gonna be held by two, one here, one here. So we're gonna remove all of them. Coil plug off. So gonna remove the coils with 10 millimeters. All right, now with the 10 millimeters are off. If you can, remove the plugs, I mean the coil, and place them in order. So the way you're removing it. So this one here, so I'm gonna put the first here, number two here, number three here, and then number four here. So when you still need plugs, replace everything, you're gonna put in order. One, two, three, four. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. They're off, same. Similar one, two, three, four. And we're gonna go ahead and remove the the harness. All you have to do is pull it up so it can get all oh, snapped from here. Just twist it and up. There you go. So all the way. Disconnect this one. Injectors. The AC on the bottom. So we can have space on the harness. We're just gonna pull it up. So now there is harness disconnected. Put them on top. So we have more space. We're gonna go ahead and remove the studs with the eight millimeter. All the way around. All right, bulk covers up. Stout stays. Now we're gonna remove the gasket. Those gaskets over here too. That's how it looks. And this one, so you can. It's gonna be a hard time. Remove the 10 millimeter here. This one here. And lift it. It'll give you more chance to fit between here. So now for this one. Go so start. We'll we're gonna remove the studs, same with the injector, harness, unplug everything and put it up. Also remove this one here with a 10 millimeter from the tower. So you have space to remove the coil. Just remove the gasket, install the new one, clean, remove it, clean it, and install the new one. So my old gasket is removed. Which is this one right here, it was so burned, hard, and brittle. So watch. See how it pops? Look. Here's this one up. Supposed to, supposed to be soft like this one right here. See? So this is our new. This is the part number, you're always gonna get it. Pause it and get the part number. Left and right is the same thing. So let me open this one and install the new ones in there. Our new gasket is in. 
Um, what are they doing there? Time to install. Tie them again, and we can replace the spark plugs. The harder one or the driver's side is gonna be the second one. So what I do, I lift this one. I don't have space there. All right, driver's side ball covers back in with your gasket. Before you put the harness and everything, we're gonna go ahead and remove the spark plugs. So what I have here is a magnetic set. So you don't have to be dealing with uh, getting stuck or whatever. You know, this one comes with the magnet. Purchase this one with my own money. It's a Michael. Any brand will work. 5.8. This is your first spark plug, 5.8. So when I hit me, you're gonna have four uh, spark plugs for each side. Let's just go here and remove the spark plugs. So we're gonna go ahead and remove all of them. So we have all the old spar plugs. It's eight for one side. Here's the new ones. So go ahead and open it. Right, we have the new ones. Every spar plug always always comes with the gap already, but always make sure it's almost the same length. If not, grab your owner manual, look it up on Google, and try to see. It usually is like 40, 45. But make sure, first glance, if anyone is all the way close. This one seems alright. So we're gonna trust the dealer. We're gonna throw them out there. Because I don't have the gauge, but those seems good. If it was one of those engines that's hard to get the spark plugs, you will have to make 100% sure the gap with your, with your feeler. But this one's easy to access. And on top of there already got a trust is all good to go. Alright, so you're gonna grab your spark plug, put them on your socket. It's mine, so I told you it's already as a magnet, so you're good to go. Put them on slightly, boom. Make sure go by hand all the way down, and you're gonna turn it by hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and install all of them. Same way. Right up here. 